There's not a week that goes by where I don't get asked the question, how do I MIG weld thin metal to thick metal? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and it's not that bad. Hey, welcome to the shop. So I'm working on a project I'm really excited about. It's a very simple, budget-friendly go-kart build that I'm gonna be doing on the channel here uh, shortly. And as I was starting to build the frame yesterday, there were a couple of instances where I had to weld some thick metal to some thinner metal, some thinner walled tubing uh, on this front axle, putting the brackets onto this 16 gauge tubing, on the rear axle, putting some larger bolts onto that same thickness of tubing. And I thought it'd be a good time to use this as an example for uh, how to approach this problem that I'm asked about a lot. So to start off, let's just do a little demonstration on the bench here. I have some 16 gauge, that's 1 16th of an inch thick material, and I'm going to weld that together with some 3 16ths of an inch material, about three times thicker, and I'll show you how to approach this every step of the way. So first of all, machine settings. Do you use the ones for the thin metal or for the thick metal? Well, go closer to the thick material. On the low end, maybe one material thickness lower than the thicker material. I'm gonna be running 300 inches per minute and uh, about 18 and a half volts. That'll work pretty well for me. Now it's with technique that I'm going to account for having the different material thicknesses. And you're able to see it really clearly when you tack weld together. So let's go ahead and put a tack weld in here and watch what happens. Now I'm coming in 45 degrees in and out of my material right towards that joint. I'm in there with a short stick out. My gun's pretty close, about 3 8 to a half inch. Uh, stick out of my wire and then I'm actually before I start welding I'm going to move my position back just a little bit towards this thicker plate and that will cause the arc to transfer over to the thicker plate rather than the thinner one and I want that to happen so I don't melt my way through the thin material before I actually start to blend and fill into the thick one. So I'll start welding, move in towards the thinner material, and it'll engulf up onto it. By watching that, you can see how this weld builds up on the thicker material and transfers over to the thinner material. Now let's go ahead and weld all the way along this T-joint. And you can see I started on the thicker material, moved in until it was transferring to be on both, and now I'm just following along with a steady, consistent travel speed. I'm not using any kind of weave or manipulation or anything like that. I'm just keeping it simple to move straight along in a line. And afterwards, this weld came out nice and smooth. Now that we've talked about the basic principles of how to do it, let's look at the examples we had from that go-kart project. So first of all, here welding this front axle together with these axle brackets, it's exactly the same thing Watch as I weld along here. I'm just letting it fill in from that thick material, rolling up onto the thin material. And because that thin material is able to absorb and transfer so much less heat than the thicker material, it comes out nice and even, even though I'm positioned just slightly to the side of the thicker metal. So that's the key is changing that position a little bit towards that thicker material to focus that heat there while keeping the settings high enough to be able to actually penetrate into and fuse with the thicker material. Now let's look at that rear axle where I have this bolt to go in. Here is a little bit of a challenge because I actually have a gap to fill as I'm working through it, but it's a good demonstration of how this works because I'm just welding on my thicker material, building that up till it builds up to the point it melts that thin material easily and then it fills in and it comes out as smooth as you can have when you have a little bit of a gap and you're welding thick to thin, um, but overall the same basic technique applies. So let's just recap. One, make sure that you have your machine set hot enough for that thicker material, but on the low end of the range for it. So you might go one material thickness lower on your chart because a lot of recommended settings are just a little bit too high. Two, Use the right uh, good technique with your travel angle, your work angle, everything like you'd have as though you're welding just a regular joint. And three, move your position a little bit towards the thicker material. Finally, just watch your puddle as you travel along to make sure it's flowing into both sides, comes out smoothly and evenly. 
Now, it's a good idea to get out there and do some practice. If you are interested in me guiding you through some practice exercises to be able to learn, I don't charge a lot for my online courses. Um, or you can check out some of my basics for beginners videos. I'll link some videos that might be helpful in the description below. Hey, well, if you have any uh, questions or things you'd like to see in future videos, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks a ton for tuning in. Until next time, weld safely, and we'll see you then.